dear students today we shall start with the concept of quantum mechanics which comes under module 2 of uh, the new syllabus so the term quantum mechanics it is uh, mainly applicable for the microscopic systems because earlier we have classical mechanics which is capable of explaining uh, given or providing solutions for most of the macroscopic systems so to explain most of the uh, results with respect to the microscopic system quantum mechanics was uh, started and uh, we shall discuss in detail about the evolution of quantum mechanics and various other uh, supporting parameters in our uh, further discussions now the presentation uh, goes like this so in fact uh, the basic uh, theme of this particular topic is the students one can differentiate the macroscopic and microscopic systems and you will understand what is the necessity of quantum mechanics why can't we apply the classical physics for the microscopic systems then uh, the concept of uh, uncertainty principle that is a uh, possibility of uh, error occurrence in the simultaneous measurement of param two different parameters that we will understand and you can apply the concept of wave mechanics for uh, many of the uh, boundary value problems now uh, in order to go for this we can divide it into sub topics first we will discuss about the concept on black body radiation spectrum which is the uh, starting point of the quantum mechanics or the fundamental of the fundamental study on quantum mechanics then uh, to explain that black body radiation spectrum different uh, workers have given their own views their own explanation that comes under the loss of black body radiation out of which the planck's radiation law which was successful in explaining the complete spectrum of the black body and this is the uh, origin of the quantum mechanics rather from which there are various contributions like de broglie concept then we have heisenberg uncertainty principle schrodinger the wave equation leading to wave mechanics mm -hmm. like that so all these uh, discussions we shall uh, do it one by one first of all uh, the term radiation has been evoluted from the concept of heat transfer you know that uh, if you have got uh, one hot body so that body we must be at higher temperature and the surrounding medium will be definitely at lower temperature wherever there exists a temperature difference between the system and the surroundings or source and the sink we can call it as then definitely there must be energy transfer from hot body to cold body to expel this is all very common observation we have the we have seen so out of this there are three major uh, processes has been observed one is the conduction other one is the convection third one is the radiation so what is that conduction in fact so we have observed this particular uh, process of energy transfer mainly in case of metals there is a conducting media they have the presence of a conducting media say for example you are uh, having one metal rod heat the metal rod at one end gradually what happens the other end also becomes hot after some time it is all because of the process of conduction then what mechanism has to place in this process look at it in case of uh, uh, solids basically the metals where the atomic arrangement or molecular arrangement are very very closer 
so thereby what happens when once the first particular preceding molecule receives the heat energy it transfers into the succeeding ones and thereby the process continues therefore by mutual contact between the various molecules in the given medium transfer of energy can be possible okay that lead to the conduction mechanism this is all uh, uh, very clearly seen then the second process is nothing but con convection so in this process there are one can say we can observe this particular process in uh, uh, various uh, liquids and gases where there must be actual motion of the heated particles there is a heat transfer take place through heated particles so there is a actual displacement in total for example if you imagine one uh, uh, beaker is filled with water it started heating from the bottom assume so what happens we can say the bottom most part of the uh, beaker will uh, receives the heat energy and it will transfers to the uh, given uh, water at the lower most layer that becomes uh, lighter that goes up the high heavier particles comes down thereby the circulation of those uh, heated particles takes place leading to the energy transfer that leads to the convection process so now the question begins if you don't have any medium imagine i have got one hot source surrounding medium i will remove everything so i will separate the system and the surroundings with a certain layer of or certain degree of vacuum so right so what happens you see there is no contact from the system to the surroundings now is completely isolated right in that case we cannot expect the transfer of heat energy from system to surroundings either by conduction or by convection in that regard we can expect the transfer of energy in the form of radiation there so that is the third important so we can say radiation is nothing but that particular phenomena of energy or heat transfer in which no material medium takes part even in the absence of medium also we can have the transfer of heat energy or the thermal energy and that is by the phenomena of radiation okay now let us forget about the discussions on conduction and convection we shall purely concentrate about the radiation aspect so we can observe have got one object here this is one particular object or a surface we can call it as on that particular surface radiant energy interacts right when the radiant energy interacts with a given surface we can expect three different uh, distributions first distribution is part of the radiations get reflected that is nothing but r then part of the radiation gets transmitted and part of the radiations gets absorbed that means you are having three possibilities here radiation reflection radiation absorption and radiation transmission such that reflection probability or transmission probability t and absorption probability a sum of all the three is always be 100% is equal to supplied or the incident radiant energy then do you think whether the distribution is uniform that is we can say equal amount of reflection equal amount of transmission equal amount of absorption will it, will it takes place not at all so we can say the sum of all the three probabilities 100% means the reflection may be 80% transmission may be 10% or the transmission may be absorption or any combination you think that is always holds good it all depends upon the type of surface under consideration so if we imagine the given surface is of highly polished in nature if it is highly polished in nature what happens most of the radiations get reflected high degree of reflection will be there and very low, low degree of transmission and the absorption 
right so at the same time if you are considering the given object is highly transparent in nature therefore high degree of transmission will be there less amount of reflection and absorption but if you want to absorb the given body to a largest extent if i want to reduce r and t to a lowest value but i want majority of the uh, incident radiation to be get absorbed then it all depends upon the color of the object that is the black body so according to the system why that particular body appears as black it is all because of the fact that the radiation whatever being made to fall on that particular surface everything has got absorbed that is why it appears as black no reflection or no transmission that is what the meaning of the term perfect black body perfect black body is one which can neither reflects nor transmits but absorbs all the radiations incident on it so that is why it appears as black similarly if you take a white body what happens all the radiation that are incident on that particular body gets reflected there rather then it appears as white right but it strictly speaking none of the objects available in the system is perfectly black or perfectly white so in between that we can classify can categorize as a general one called as gray body so gray body means some partial reflection will be there partial absorption will be there partial transmission will be there all the three can hold true but the opposite of black is uh, white where complete reflection in case of black there is complete absorption that is in between that you can think that all other colors comes under a common heading called as the gray body okay now uh, for the practical purpose what to do because i want to conduct some experiments if you don't have availability of perfect black body then whatever the results you are going to get may not be completely acceptable right you are having one uh, a uh, chamber like this this particular chamber all inner walls are coated with the black uh, paint in fact so what i will do a narrow opening is there so from that narrow opening the radiant energy starts interacting when it interacts with this look at this i have shown it by a dense line so that particular radiation majority will be get absorbed even if there is some amount of ref reflection is there that starts reflecting like this and it is other edge of the given uh, chamber where again some more will be get absorbed remaining will get uh, uh, reflected let the process continue say at the end point you will see there is negligible amount of further reflection will be there in other words whatever the radiant energy interacts or enters into the given chamber will reside within the chamber only this an arrangement can be uh, accepted as a perfect black body system okay so this is what we are going to use in all our uh, further calculations okay now uh, one uh, concept may be in your mind once the body get reflected once the once the give a radiation gets reflected or Uh, transmitted or absorbed what differentiation we can think of in that particular system so therefore for this reason there are two important things the differentiations you have to understand one is called as the absorptive power other one is called as the emissive power so right now uh, absorptive power in the sense the quantity of radiation that has been absorbed by the given material or given object per unit surface area per second so this is basically the definition for absorptive power obviously this absorption coefficient or absorptive power for a perfect black body always be equal to 100% but what is the other aspect you have to think now once the body get when the body absorbs all the radiations in fact you know the radiation is the matter energy transfer right so when the given body receives some energy then what it has to do now 
where exactly or what modification we can think of in the given system see if the given object is perfectly reflective so nothing will happen to the given object the radiation falls on it gets reflected out nothing will happen even if the object is perfectly transparent the radiation falls on it it will be get transmitted but the basic damage you can think of is with respect to the absorption point of view if the body is a good absorber then definitely the damage will be there on the given body for example if you consider a given black body allow the radiation to fall on it it can absorbs very quickly or complete absorption of the radiation has took place immediately what happens the temperature of the black body goes on increases so when it starts increase increase increasing even if there is a complete absorption is there then what will happen that particular body will starts re emitting the radiation and those radiations are identified as black body radiations okay therefore black body radiations are those category of radiations that are being emitted from the black body don't be get confused the, the between the words emission and a reflection reflection phenomena or reflection of the radiation takes place and it should be it will be observed in presence of the incident radiation okay but emission of radiation can be possible even in the absence of the incident radiation suppose if i there allow the radiation to fall on the given black body black body start absorbs then afterwards i will stop the incident radiation then even then also radiation can be emitted from the given body therefore emission category is different reflection category is completely different okay therefore a good absorber must be a good radiator this is what the first uh, identification given by kirchhoff it is most popularly called as kirchhoff law in uh, black body radiation system so where good absorbers are all good radiators so a given black body since it is a good absorber it must be a good radiator so uh, once this particular concept has been uh, observed experimentally at that time uh, only classical uh, physics was in uh, force wherein all uh, uh, concepts all particular uh, analysis or all going through the rules of the classical physics there were the people who were uh, in uh, view that if you plot a graph between the amount of intensity of incident radi and em emitted radiation to the wavelength in fact it must goes to a parallel line with respect to x axis because you know the black body can absorb everything it must radiate everything that was the uh, concept behind this so people were not actually uh, discussed much in detail about this uh, uh, result and later when you observe this particular radiation spectrum of a black body you will see that a result is completely different so it looks like this this is called as black body radiation spectrum so black body radiation spectrum is nothing but a graph of wavelength of the emitted radiation as a function of intensity so you will see from the graph that it is not actually a parallel line with respect to x axis it is having some different nature you are observing that the graph shows some peak values depending upon the temperature and it also varies with the wavelength in fact so this is one of the biggest question mark among various workers of radiation because they never expected this type of uh, uh, emission spectrum from a black body right so absorption spectrum may be uniform uh, light ray uniform radiation emitted uh, sent to uh, fall on the given source or given surface rather and it can absorb everything assume but 
but when you start observing the emission spectrum it is not actually uniform that is the irregularity in the distribution of wavelength as a function of intensity some of the wavelengths are very much faint some of the wavelengths are having higher intensity all these parameters are to be answered now so for this first we shall understand what are the basic observations which we can list out in the black body radiation spectrum so number 1 we can think that we can easily observe that the radiation distribution is non uniform so amount of or whatever the radiation that is being emitted from a black body has got irregularity or what you have seen there some of the radiation some of the wavelengths are suppressed some of the wavelengths are in more prominence like that then the second important observation is we are finding that as you increase the wavelength intensity also rises in the beginning for a given temperature and reaches a maximum for a particular wavelength so this particular wavelength is basically identified as lambda max therefore lambda max in the sense is not the maximum wavelength lambda max indicates the that particular prominent wavelength having highest intensity it is it is it always be red with respect to intensity view point okay so therefore intensity but the, that particular wavelength emitted from a given black body having highest intensity it is identified as the lambda max okay next is there any dependence of lambda max on the temperature definitely yes so when the temperature of the given black body goes on increases what happens the lambda max will shift towards the shorter wavelength side for example if you heat the given black body to a level of 1000 degree centigrade you may get uh, one particular lambda max of about say 5000 angstroms instead if you increase the temperature to 2000 degree centigrade you may get the wavelength of about 4000 angstroms that means you are going to come across the prominent or the most probable wavelength that can be emitted from a given black body will shift towards the lower wavelength limit okay so this is one of the biggest uh, thing we are supposed to explain and to explain these particular uh, results various workers have given their own contribution and that we shall discuss under the different heading called as loss of black body radiation okay so out of this there are various loss of black body radiation out of which planck's radiation law is very important that we shall discuss in the next class